How to find a good cycle route. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Cycling is a great way to get around, but it's always wise to plan your route before you set off. We've teamed up with CTC, the National Cyclists Organisation, to show you how to plan a good cycle route. Step 1. Types of route. In the UK, pedal bikes are allowed by law on most types of roads except motorways. However, for the sake of your personal comfort, it's best to plan a route using quieter roads or cycle tracks wherever possible. A guide to the different types of cycle routes follows. Cycle tracks. Many areas in the UK and Europe have a good network of tracks for the sole use of cyclists. These will normally be away from the roads and are the safest routes to take. You can get details on many of these, including overseas routes, from CTC, the National Cyclists' Organisation. Cycle lanes. Cycle lanes normally run alongside roads, and those marked with a solid white line are intended for the sole use of cyclists. It is not compulsory for cyclists to use them, however, and you should not feel obliged to use the cycle lane if you feel it compromises your safety, if it runs closely alongside a row of parked cars, for example. Bus lanes. Cyclists are allowed to use bus lanes, unless signed otherwise. These are normally quieter than the rest of the road. When using bus lanes, you should position yourself in the middle of the single lane. Never pass a bus on the inside, as they will be unable to see you. Also keep an eye out for other vehicles using the bus lane illegally. Quiet roads. If you can't find a route using lanes and tracks set aside for cyclists, then you might like to look for quieter roads. Many towns and cities have cycle routes signposted through residential areas, although these often take you on a slight detour. Busier roads. Sometimes you will have no alternative than to cycle along a busy road. If the traffic is fast moving, then you'll be tempted to hug the kerb in order to avoid pushing or overtaking traffic onto the oncoming lane. However, you should cycle far enough from the kerb so that you can avoid roadside debris, one metre from the crown of the road. Positioning yourself this far out will help you be seen by other road users and give you more space to manoeuvre. For more information on cycling in busy areas, watch video jugs How to Cycle Safely in a City. Step 2. Local authorities. Your local authority should be able to provide you with a map of official cycle routes in your area, often for free. For example, Transport for London provides an excellent set of cycle maps. You can order these for free from the TfL website. In other areas, contact the transport department of your local authority to find out what is available. Step 3. The Internet. Many cycle route maps are available online. Sustrans is a great resource providing details of cycle routes throughout the UK. Transport for London also has a comprehensive journey planner, but it's a good idea to use this in conjunction with a paper map. Step 4. Following your route. Once you've planned your route, you should have a fairly good idea of where you're going, but take your maps with you just in case. Most towns have cycle routes signposted, but if you get lost and need to consult a map, you should always pull off the road and dismount before getting your map out. Never try to whip it out at a traffic lights or junctions as this can be very dangerous. Happy cycling!